Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV. I want to show you how to create a custom XIB file or a nib file for your iPhone app. I'm going to go ahead and get started by creating a new Xcode project. And we're going to start with a single view application and then hit next. From here, you just give it a name. So we will call this a view controller demo. And I'll stick to just iPhone so that there's a little bit less code and we can just focus on getting this working for one of the devices. I'll hit next and then I'll save it in my projects folder. And from here, we are going to create a button that's going to start a new view controller. So I'll just put that out. Then I need to switch to our assistant editor. And from here, we can drag in and create the connection. So I like to be verbose and, and sort of talk about what it was that we're saying here. And here we can do an NS log statement. And so that's, that's what we're going to do right now. So that is showing us a little message when we tap on that. So let's just make sure that this is working because this is going to be our hook to show another view controller. So we see a message print out and that's a good thing. So now I'm going to hide the bottom bar and we're going to come over to our left side and create a new file. Now I'm going to do this all from scratch. So I'm going to start with the user interface file. Here we want an empty interface file that's going to allow us to create a view controller XIB file or a nib file. I'll do iPhone and hit next. And then we want to give it a name. So up here, we'll give it a name and we'll just call it my view controller. So this is where you can have logic for another screen on your iPhone app. I'm going to create that and it's going to appear. Now, I don't know why it defaulted to showing me the actual XML file, but if I click off of it and click back on it, it works. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we need to open up our sidebar and we're not going to drag a UI view controller. So this is going to be a view controller. We don't drag this one out. So if you drag this one out, this is the wrong one. You'll want to remove it. What we're going to want is just a view. All we need here is the view in the XIB files. In a storyboard file, when we drag out stuff, we don't just drag out a view you would drag out a view controller. And so in this one, we are not going to do that. And we're going to just drag a view out. Now we have to connect the view to the file's owner, which is going to be the, the type that we want here. So I actually, I didn't delete that. So I'm going to select it and hit delete. The only thing we should have here is a view. Now, one of the downsides of the XIB files is I can't zoom out to give you the big picture. On the storyboard file, you can actually zoom out and see more things. There's no zoom support if I'm in this view controller. So you have to kind of hide some stuff so that you can see everything on the screen. Now to differentiate this, I'm just going to put some kind of slider or thing out here. And then once we have that, I'm going to color the background a different color. So we'll just make it a red background so that it's very obvious that this is a new screen that is going to appear. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new code file. Now, this code file is going to be connected to our user interface file. So I'll do Objective-C class, hit Next, and call this just My View Controller. We're going to be subclassing the UI View Controller. There's a drop down here where you can see common classes that you can do. And I'm going to turn off the XIB file since that's what we just did here. Now, Xcode can set everything up for you and link it all, but if you don't understand how it's connected, it can be frustrating when you go to rename something and things break. So we'll hit next, and we'll make sure that this is added to our target, and then hit create. And now we have our code file. So our next step is to link everything up. Now, I'm not going to link everything up perfectly the first time because I want you to see the error message. So the first thing that we're going to do here is just call this my view controller. And we should see it. It looks like an Xcode. This broke for me last time I tried this. So I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to rebuild the project. You can just run it again, or you can just come into your settings and do the shortcut command B or just click on build. 
and that's going to help our XIB file know that there's a new code file. So I should be able to type, and I'm, I actually sucked down the wrong thing, so maybe that's why it didn't work. We want to be on the files owner in the XIB file, and then here you should be able to use the drop down, but there's a lot of stuff here. So I'm just going to start typing my view controller and hit tab or enter to complete it. Now that that's done, there is one more step. We do need to do this connection here where we connect the view outlet. But before I do that, say you forgot to do that step, I want to show you what's going to happen. So we are going to present this view controller. And the right now we're just printing out a message. So the first thing we need to do here in our view controller class, we're trying to bring in a new screen. So we want to present new information to the user. That means we need to let this code file know about the other code file. So we import myViewController.h. Now we don't have to do anything that does anything with the names in the code file. We can actually just create a myViewController. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to initialize that just to the default init function. So we'll do the alloc init. And that's all we need to do. So that's creating that. And it's actually going to load from our XIB file, which is pretty handy. So now all we need to do here is present it. I'm going to hide that sidebar so you can see this code. So the self keyword here will allow us to work with this object. And one of the methods we have is to present a view controller. And we just pass my view controller. We say yes, and we give it a nil completion because we don't need to do anything after it appears. If you wanted to do some code, you could throw in a little bit of code logic there after it appears, but I don't have anything to do right here. And now that, that is done, I will stop and rerun. And when I press this, it should crash. So here's the error message that I talked about. If we look at it, just so you can see what it looks like, so you're not caught off guard, we always scroll up to these error messages and read the first thing. This is telling us that it loaded a MyViewController nib, but the view outlet was not set. And so there's a particular format that we need to follow, otherwise these things don't work magically. And so that might break some of the magic for you. But the, the thing that we need to do is we just need to connect to the view. So we can drag here, or we can drag over here from the files owner. And that's this sort of empty looking box. And as long as we connect the view outlet, and I stop and I rerun, this should work and we should see this red screen appear when I press this button. All right, so that is how to create a new screen for your application. In the next video, I will show you how to pass data between your first view controller and your second view controller using properties.